You're going to be absolutely amazed when you hear this story because he was in a plane crash that, that literally destroyed him. In fact, it killed him, and yet he's alive to tell the tale. Shortly after takeoff, I don't really recall much because I was kind of dozing off, uh, sitting next to the pilot, or actually sitting on the floor next to the pilot where we moved the seats in this new aircraft, and I was awakened by a sound unfamiliar to me. It was the sound of the motor going completely silent. Uh -oh. And the pilot turned to me and he slapped me and he says, that's it, we're going down. So we just pitched forward and we're, wow. we plummeted straight down at over 100 miles an hour. And what was seen out of the cockpit, and this was told to me, I don't recall this, but we were going straight to the ground and we're headed right towards a gigantic oak tree. We did hit that tree going, I said, over 100 miles an hour. And my face stopped my body going 100 miles an hour. They rushed me off to the hospital. As I was laying there in that condition, just racked with pain and, and discomfort in every way possible, suddenly my my inner man, the real me, my spirit, sat up out of my body and I could feel my legs go through the springs of the bed. And my spirit came out of my body as if you would take a glove off your hand. I knew I was traveling, I could feel you know, that I was traveling, and as I looked ahead, there was this pure white light. It was whiter than the whitest snow and brighter than 10,000 suns, and yet I could look right at it, and it was compelling. <laughs> Flashes before your eyes. Well, my life flashes. 
people or physical things. It was more of the essence of everything, but it was very clear. And it was all about the love. Thank you.